In another video, we showed you how to change out the nozzle on a PGP ADJ. In this video, I'm going to show you how to adjust the arc and the radius. I'm Dwayne Smith, your Sprinkler Warehouse Product Specialist. Let's get started. So we've got a PGP ADJ that's not spraying the correct direction. It's spraying on our path here. We need it to end along this direction and stay on the grass and not on our walkway. So we're going to adjust our arc. You can set the arc while the rotor is currently watering or not, either way. You'll need a rotor key like this to make these adjustments. We're gonna turn off the water and show you how to set the arc while the zone is off. If the rotor is not watering, you'll put the plastic end of the rotor key into this keyhole right here, twist 90 degrees, and pull up. Hold the stem up with one hand, like I said before, you can do this while the rotor's running, which may be easier than fighting the retraction spring like I'm currently doing. Turn the turret back and forth a couple of times to see the pattern. You should be able to turn it easily, don't force it. This little raised area will show you where the water's pointing. This pattern is currently about 90 degrees, so we're going to need to increase the arc. The PGP ADJ has a fixed right stop, which means when you're increasing the arc, you're moving the left stop. The right stop is fixed. This little raised area is where the nozzle is. So this is the direction that the water shoots out. You can see our right stop is in the wrong position. It needs to head down parallel to the sidewalk. One way to adjust it is to grab the rotor by the stem and turn the entire rotor so that it faces the direction we want. What we're doing is loosening the rotor on the threads below or we're turning the nipple riser underneath. There are a number of threads on the bottom of the rotor, so if you loosen it a quarter turn, that's not too bad. You don't want to loosen it too much though. It's okay to tighten the rotor a little bit as well, but we don't want to break the nipple riser underneath though, so be careful. Let's pretend for a moment that the right stop is here and it won't tighten anymore. It feels like you're going to break it. In that case, we will need to remove the internal assembly. To do that, you'll probably have to dig out the top of the rotor. And by the way, if your rotor's in the grass, the top of the rotor should be even with the dirt. If it's sticking up, you need to lower the rotor so it doesn't get chopped off by the mower or become a trip hazard. You also don't want it too far down, uh, otherwise it won't pop up far enough to do a good job watering. So I'm gonna dig out just enough to get my hands around the top part of this rotor. Okay, I've dug down just a couple of inches to expose this top part of the rotor so that I can grab onto this ring here. I'm going to unscrew it. If it's too tight or your hands are too slippery, you can use a strap wrench or channel locks to grab onto it. Pull out the internal assembly. Try to avoid getting any dirt inside the body here. Now once again, I'm gonna make sure that I know where the right stop is by turning the top back and forth. So this is definitely my right stop. I'm gonna aim the rotor the direction I want the right stop to point. And I'm gonna lower the assembly into the body, making sure that it's still pointing the correct direction. It's okay if the turret turns at this point, once you've lowered the assembly into the body, the right stop is set, even if the turret turns. And now I will tighten this ring. Now that we have the right stop in place, we will need to adjust the left stop. Put the plastic end of the key into this slot here. You may need to twist it a little until you fill its seat. A clockwise turn increases the size of the arc, counterclockwise decreases it. Okay, let me check it. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, that's pretty good. And we're gonna turn the water back on so we can check the radius. And like I said, you can adjust the arc while the rotor is running. And you can even turn the turret back and forth. Just don't force it. Now that we've adjusted the arc, let's set the radius. That's the watering distance. The water from this rotor should reach the next closest head in the zone. That's called head-to-head -head coverage. For this, you'll need to start the zone, insert the metal end of the key into this raised area. A clockwise turn shortens the radius, counterclockwise lengthens it. Be careful to not turn the screw too many times either direction. The screw that adjusts the radius also holds in the nozzle. If you unscrew it too far, the water pressure will eject the nozzle 
you will not enjoy trying to find it in the grass. If you screw it too far in, the screw can fall right out and then you'll be looking for the screw and also the nozzle. Either way is not fun, so when you're adjusting it, don't overdo it. Once you get the radius to a pretty good distance, stop turning the screw. You can do this. Go out there and adjust your PGP 80J. Happy irrigating. Questions? Chat with one of our incredible customer service agents on sprinklerwarehouse.com. They really do know their stuff and they'll get you squared away. Get everything you need for that next landscape project from Sprinkler Warehouse, a proud member of the Heritage Landscape Supply Group. Your success is our heritage. Sprinkler Warehouse, America's most shop sprinkler store. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for helpful tips, tutorials, and general sprinkler instruction.